Hi, welcome to this hands-on session on AWS Simple Notification Service. I'm Maham Tariq from SkillCurb and in this lab we'll learn how to set up an SNS topic that will be triggered by a Lambda function. Here are the steps that we'll follow in this lab. After logging into my AWS account, I'll open the SNS console and create a new SNS topic. Then I'll create a new Lambda function and create a subscription to the SNS topic and attach it to the Lambda function. Then I'll publish a message in the SNS topic and then observe the results through Lambda function. So let's get started. You can create either of the SNS topic or the Lambda function first. We're gonna start with SNS here. To open the SNS console, you can search it from the services or just write SNS in the search bar. Here on this page, we can see the already available topics. Click on create topic to create a new one. First, we have to select the type of the topic. There are two different types. In a first in first out, messages are delivered exactly once and the messages are sent and received in order. And it has a high throughput and the only supported subscription protocol is SQS. While standard has the best effort delivery and the message order is not preserved. It has much much higher throughput and a number of supported subscription protocols. We'll be using the standard version. After we select the type of topic, we have to give it a name. AWS provides the tools for you to create an encrypted file system that encrypts all of our data and metadata, in this case a published message at rest using an industry standard AES-256 encryption algorithm. I'll just leave it disabled for this demo. Access policy limits who can publish or subscribe to the SNS topic. Amazon SNS grants a default policy to all newly created topics. The default policy grants access to your topic to all other AWS services. Avoid using the everyone option here. You can also go ahead and customize it. You can also grant cross account permissions to subscribe here. I'll just leave it as it is for now. The delivery policies defines how Amazon SNS retries the delivery of messages when server side error occurs. When it is exhausted, Amazon SNS stops retrying the delivery and discards the message unless a dead letter queue is attached to the subscription. By default, if the initial delivery of the SNS message fails, Amazon SNS attempts up to three retries with a delay between failed attempts set at 20 seconds. Logging message delivery status helps provide better operational insight, such as knowing whether a message was delivered to the Amazon SNS endpoint. But I'll keep it as it is for this demo. Leaving rest of the settings at default, now click on create topic. The new topic is created and we can see information about the topic here. Now we can create a new subscription to the topic. For that, Go to subscriptions and click on create subscription. For this demo, we'll set the protocol to lambda function, but we do not have the lambda function yet. So let's pause here and go to the lambda console to create a new function. Open the lambda console and click on create function. I'll create the function with all the defaults. For this exercise, we'll leave it on author from scratch. You can call this whatever you want. For runtime, we'll go with Python 3.9. For architecture, we can use either of these. For permissions, we don't need to change anything. I can skip all the other settings and click on create. Once the function is created, just copy the lambda ARN from here. Before we can move on to the subscription, I can edit the lambda code to print the incoming event. Let's go back to the SNS subscription page and paste the lambda ARN number. A filter policy is a simple JSON object containing attributes that define which messages the subscriber receives. You can configure the redrive policy on an Amazon SNS subscription. If SNS cannot deliver the message after the number of attempts set in its delivery policy, SNS will send it to the dead letter queue specified in the redrive policy. We're not going to use this in this example, so go ahead and click on create subscription. Now before publishing a message, I'm going to go over to the lambda function and check if it is connected. I'll just refresh the page. You can now see we have our SNS as trigger. Let's go back to topics and publish a message here. I'll set the subject to demo test and put in hello world in the message body. You can also set message attributes here. I'll just leave them at blank and publish the message. Now we can go ahead and observe the monitoring tab of the Lambda function. We can also explore the CloudWatch logs to find any entries for the published messages. You can see the various logs here. Now before ending the lab, I will delete the resources that are created specifically for this lab. 
So I'll go and delete the lambda function and then the SNS topic. Now that we're done deleting, that's it for this lab.